Null and Alternative Hypotheses The Null Hypothesis, written as H sub 0, can be read as H sub 0 or H naught. I like to read it as H naught to help me remember that the Null Hypothesis states that there is not a relationship between independent and dependent variables. According to Pollitt and Beck, researchers generally do not state hypotheses in the null form in order to avoid giving an amateurish impression, as it should be assumed without needing to state it. The following information about null and alternative hypotheses comes from an online article by Sepp Koda in 2020. The null hypothesis believes that the results of research are observed as a result of chance. If the null hypothesis is accepted, the results of the study are deemed insignificant. The alternative hypothesis is the hypothesis the researchers are trying to prove to establish a relationship between variables in a study. If an alternative hypothesis is accepted, the results of the study become significant, that is, they do not result from chance. Here, the p-value would be smaller than the level of significance. Alternative hypotheses when proved can lead to a change in practice. When researchers wrongly claim that there is a relationship when there is not, this is said to be a type one error, also known as a false positive. A less serious type two error wrongly denies a relationship or is falsely negative. The null hypothesis for our research question is, participation in a healthy behaviors education program is unrelated to overall perceived health status in cancer patients, forward slash survivors. The alternative hypothesis for our research question is, participation in a healthy behaviors education program positively impacts perceived health status in cancer patients slash survivors.